Do you want to paint realistic flowers but aren't sure how to do it? I can show you how quickly and easily. One of the most important areas to consider when painting flowers is where petals overlap each other. In order to show the overlapping or intersecting areas, um, we need to have a difference of shading and highlights where the two petals meet. You are putting light against dark to spatially show the overlap. This is called value in painting. I have drawn two basic zinnia petals and placed them not only side by side, but slightly overlapping. What this means is that when you see one petal, the front petal fully, the other petal, the petal in the back is drawn so that you only see three sides. Um, so base your petals using cadmium yellow and next use vermilion to lightly wash over the ye yellow. Um, I started in the front petal um, and trust me, this is, um, I'm using an angle brush and going carefully around the sides and just lightly drawing that paint down over the petal. And you want to allow that yellow to kind of shine through the orange. This will give your orange zinnia petals a nice glow and it makes them really pretty and, and it's easier than sort of mixing the petal, the paint on your palette. So um, I'm now applying the vermilion to the petal that is in the back. And again, allowing that yellow, uh, cadmium yellow base coat to show through. So you're going to blend out that, um, the colors smoothly um, and I'm applying a red, a cadmium red, to that intersecting line where the petals connect, where they overlap. You want that petal in the back to show to be a little bit deeper and there to be a sort of a shadow line there. And so the red gets applied all the way up where the petals overlap. Um, and I'm using it sparingly down at the base of the front petal and all around the edges. You can do a very slight border around the edges. And again, just you're going to blend out that line. So it's not a solid line of demarcation. There's a nice sort of blending from the red that you've applied and mixing it with the orange. So it's a, it's a nice soft line. And you're going to blend that out again, like I've stated, so that it's nice and soft. That's how you get nice, uh, realistic, pretty paintings and just sort of adding your paint and layers and blending that all out. I'm adding a sort of little indents in the petals um, to the petal that's in the front. And I'm going to add that to the petal in the back also. And I'm still working on blending out the, that um, overlap area. Painting an acrylic takes a lot of layers. Um, so you just need to be patient and use nice washes over your painting so that the colors underneath still show through. Now I've mixed up some red with some burnt umber and I'm going to further define that overlap area uh, where the petals sort of the petal in the back is you want to really show that that is that will push that petal back into the background and really accentuate that overlap area. Um, cleaning up the edges on the petals. And just sort of softly blending everything out. Deepening paint where it needs to be deepened and richer. And I like to use those angle brushes. I can use them to really clean up the edges and refine them, sharpen them. And they work great for blending out your paint colors together. So I'm still working on refining, softening the blending process. 
um, mixing all the colors nice and softly. And now I'm using a, a, a mix of um, vermilion, yellow, and a small amount of white. And this is the beginning of the highlight color. Um, and this will be applied to the front petal along the right side. Um, I'm using it also where the petals appear, where I've drawn them to have uh, the appearance of being sort of folded over slightly, where the petals grow out from the base of the flower. Um, I'm using that over that little, the little indents on the petals um, and where the light would be hitting that petal on the upper left hand side. Um, and also you want to apply that very importantly, just as you use the dark colors on the back side of the petals, you want to really use that highlight color along that front petal where the overlap area is. That will further accentuate that overlap and really give you a nice pop. It'll pop out the front petal and bring it more closer in appearance um, to the surface and it will then push that darker petal back in the background so you'll have a nice beautiful sort of overlap area shown on your painting and again you may have to add that highlight color in a few layers so i usually typically add my whatever paint i'm applying um, and let the, you can see I work around my painting, um, letting, working on different areas of the painting. So each area kind of dries down a little bit. And again, you may need to add that highlight color a few times. I will add a link uh, in the description to a Zinnia petal drawing. Um, it'll be on my Pinterest um, account and you can go there and you can download that drawing and um, print it out and try this for yourself. And there you have it, how to paint overlapping petals to create a reali realistic effect in your floral paintings. I have a full tutorial of a Xenia painting coming out soon, so I hope you'll check back later. Thank you for watching.